this is huge that's right guys simona Halep, two-time grand slam champion handed four-year ban for doping that's right the headlines are making their way around the tennis world and this is shocking four years they are not playing around can she come back from this can the two-time grand slam champ simona Halep recover from this Tennis in a Minute, I'm your host, Good Energy. We're in the studio tonight breaking this down. Comment below. Let's get into it, guys. The ITIA has slapped Simona Halep with a four-year doping ban. Ouch. This is serious, guys. That's right. The International Tennis Integrity Agency, they are not playing around. Roxa Dustat was found in her system. Now this increases red blood cell count and helps with, helps with the cardiovascular health. This is pretty darn serious now. A lot of long distance marathon runners, when they're busted, they're caught with this in their system. This helps recovery, oxygen intake. This gives you an edge, a major edge. Now look, I'm training for a marathon and the way I improve my stamina and my results is by running harder, stronger, taking the pain, but getting lots of rest, recovery, and intake of nutrients. To take something illegal like Roxa Dustat, that would give me a huge edge over competition. And this is why fans, tennis fans all over the world have to understand this four year ban, they're not playing around with her. This is serious. Now, Simona has stated publicly that she never knowingly took any banned substance. Her team did reveal several months ago that the tainted supplement was the cause for the positive test. So, I guess the question is, where did the supplement come from? Who's manufacturing it? How did it get into her training regimen? There's a lot of questions that need to be answered behind the scenes. And the reality here is the ITIA is not, they're not, ex, they're just, they're not playing around with that explanation. A four year ban lets you know that it's, it's probably, they feel it's probably not a coincidence. You know, that something with these types of benefits would end up in your system. Now, Simona Halep's initial response I don't know, what do you think guys, a bit sketchy? Her initial response was, I've been notified that I've tested positive for a substance called Roxadustat. It was an extremely low quantity, which came as the biggest shock of my life. Throughout my entire career, the idea of cheating never even crossed my mind once, as it's totally against all the values I've been educated with. Facing such an unfair situation, I feel completely confused and betrayed. Keyword betrayed. Now that's an interesting word, right? I will fight until the end to prove that I've never knowingly took any prohibited substance and I have faith that sooner or later the truth will come out. It's not about the titles or money, it's about honor and the love story I've developed with the game of tennis over the last 25 years. Now she says betrayed. What do you guys think? So now Simona Halep's team released a statement stating that the small amount of Roxadustat that was found in her sample was a result of a tainted supplement. But this is where things get a bit interesting. The anti-doping agency released a statement with their experts concluding that the supplement contamination could not account for the amount of Roxadustat found in her urine. That's very interesting. So Simona is stating that a small amount was the result of a supplement contamination. However, the experts in this field are stating that any supplement contamination would not produce such a large amount in her urine. So that's interesting. But this is why I think they were so harsh with the four year ban is because her biological passport showed numerous irregular patterns in her blood work. So their experts are suggesting there's something going on here that's abnormal and possibly related to a player looking for some type of edge. 
Now, before we go any further, we want to to say allegedly, we want to assume that Simona Halep is innocent until she is completely proven guilty. And right now, this is still ongoing. Um, there will be appeals and there will be further reviews. But right now, according to their information, it appears that Simona Halep's blood work shows irregular patterns of some type of doping. Furthermore, Roxadustat was found in her system and the, the amounts that were found in her urine, their experts claim it's too large of a sample size to be the result of a tainted supplement. This is very interesting. Now, Serena Williams made a tweet earlier about eight would be nice. Let's let's go there. We're going to go there right now. Now, everyone wanted Serena to win her 24th Grand Slam, including her coach, Patrick. And in case you're not familiar with the story, Simona Halep literally flew to Patrick's Academy in France and begged him to coach her. And he stated he wasn't interested. That's not something he wanted to get back into in terms of coaching a WTA player at the time. You know, his focus was with many other things like his academy. But she begged him and she was consistent. So he decided to coach her. And he's been by her side since this entire thing started last year. He's been going to the hearings and he's he stated he's shocked. He never saw something like this coming. She seemed to be just a very ethical, hardworking person. In my opinion, you know you're a good person when your ex-husband, someone that you divorced, has nothing but good things to say about you. Now, the marriage was short, only one year. A little weird, he was a lot older than her, over 12 years, 11, 12 years older than her. That's a bit strange, but look, it seems to me she's a classy woman full of integrity. So we're going to give her the benefit of the doubt in this case, right? Again, this is an ongoing procedure. She will be appealing this decision. And we've seen mistakes happen in the past. So all of these things are alleged. We will assume her innocence. And I mean, especially with the biological passport, right? So we'll wait till more of that comes out. I mean, in terms of her camp admitting to the rocks seduced that tainted supplement, if they admitted that, that's fine. But the biological passport, maybe a second expert or team of experts can come in and find some type of reasoning for that because it's my personal opinion, that's why they were so hard on the four years. But let's talk about Simona Halep and the Serena Williams tweet, okay? Now, in case you're not familiar, Simona Halep, she is a very, very good player. And she was a very good player for a very, very long time. Now, I did a poll in the community section earlier asking, will Simona Halep win another singles title? Most people said no. About 75% of all people said no. And... I don't know guys, Simona Halep, she's got 24 career titles and she's got two Grand Slams. She's made three Grand Slam appearances. The first coming in uh, 2018 at the Australian Open where Caroline Wozniacki uh, beat her. And look, it was a very, very good match. It went three sets. Now she would win her first Grand Slam against Sloane Stevens at the French Open that same year, 2018. Now, Sloan won the first set and would lose the next two sets. Now, Sloan has had some very tough matches where she won important matches like WTA finals against Elena Svitolina, where she won the first set and ended up losing the match. Very tough. But um, Sloan won her first Grand Slam in 18 at the French Open. And then next year is when this match started here. Uh, with Serena, 2019 Wimbledon, and she beat Serena. Now Serena, of course, going for history, but I watched this match and look, I was I was shocked Serena lost. I I didn't think Serena was in her best form. You know, again, this was around that that time where 
you could see the end was near for Serena, you know, the baby and just her relationship. And I didn't think she was in her best form. I, that's why I thought Serena lost. Simona was just too fast that day, too fast and too quick. And I was shocked, you know. Uh, I watched the first set and then I, I thought, you know, okay, it's Serena. She'll come back and win the second set, force the third, and she'll win the match. I stepped away for a bit and I came back and I could not believe Simona Halep won that second set 6-2 as well and that match was over. I was shocked, seriously shocked. And I'm like, whoa, Simona Halep never beat Serena. She had only beat her once before. And I mean, Serena had beat her like literally like seven times and no one expected Halep to win this match. Um, but I do remember Serena, if I'm not mistaken, Serena was like maybe a three to one favorite or something like that, which most people definitely thought Serena was a good value, but turned out not to be so because she should have been a much higher favorite. I mean, they played 12 times and Serena's beat Halep 10 times. That's right, she even beat her in 2014 for the WTA championship. Now Halep, listen, in this match here, she kept Serena on the back foot all match long. And when Serena came forward, Halep hit passing shots. Halep is just, she's always been so fast and explosive. So, you know, if this proves to be true, the Roxa Dustat in her system is a major edge because she's already fast and athletic as it is. But, you know, I always remember Halep being tired though. I do always remember her just being out of breath. And look, it happens with a lot of tennis players. You know, tennis is a very, very, it's a very tough sport. You know, if you if you don't have the endurance and stamina, you're just, you'll lose a match just because you're not in form. It doesn't matter how good you are. And I think Venus Williams said that best earlier this year. It doesn't matter how good you are. If you don't have your form, anyone in the top 100 or top 500 rather will beat you and I think that's the case with a lot of matches nowadays but listen guys Simona Halep simply outplayed Serena this day Serena did not look like she came to play a championship match on this day she literally just she looked she looked too heavy to me like Simona Halep was just so small and fast and Again, she kept Serena on the back foot. When Serena came forward, she hit passing shots. Now Serena, I don't think Serena had a, a, a great tournament, to be honest with you. I mean, she dropped, besides losing the match here, uh, en route to the final, she only dropped two sets. But I mean, in the first round, she took out, she took out Gato Maciani. She took out Keja Yuvon, that's right, Iga's bestie in the second round. Julia George is in the third. Uh, Suarez Navarro in the round of 16, Allison Riss in the quarterfinal, and Strykova in the semifinal. So I just, I don't think Serena was, was really playing great that tournament. I think she was a little bit too heavy, and because she was so great of an athlete, she managed to get through those matches. But Simona Halep was just, she was ready. She was locked and loaded. She was playing amazing, and she came in. I, th I thought she had a, probably a harder draw in 2019. You know, a lot of people don't realize it, but she took out Sasnovich. She took out Busanescu, Azarenka in the third round, Coco Golf in the fourth round. That's right. Coco probably would have won Wimbledon if she beat Halep. Uh, she took out Zong in the quarterfinals, Fitalina in the semifinal, and of course she beat Serena. So Coco probably wins Wimbledon. Coco was amazing. She made the fourth round as a 15 year old. And of course, guys, you know, with all the controversy with this doping scandal here, is this something Simona has been doing for a long time? Again, we're going to give her the benefit of the doubt. She's innocent until this case is closed and Simona accepts the result or some new information comes out. We're going to give her the benefit of the doubt and say this is, uh, look, this is alleged, allegedly. Uh, she's innocent. So we're going to give her the benefit of the doubt. But listen, guys, if she 
was guilty of doing this? Is this something that's been going on? And, and if so, how long? All those times she's beat Coco Golf, guys. That's right. A lot of times, some big, very, very big matches between her and Coco. How many championships did she rob Coco of? All right, guys, they played four times. Simone Halep's beat Coco all four times. At Wimbledon was the first time they played in 19 straight set victory. 2002 Indian Wells round of 32. Could Coco have won that? That's a master event. Madrid, another master event. Straight set, 6-4, 6-4. How about Toronto, another master event last year, 22. Straight sets. Second set did go to a tie break, though. Some interesting questions to ask. I mean, the Sloan Stevens match, I mean, Sloan won the first set. I, I, she had a chance to win the second set. I don't want to go there. The Wimbledon match, I, I don't know. Serena just looked too heavy to me. But Coco is a different story because to see Simona Halep literally make Coco's athletic ability look non-existent that was it was always mind-boggling to me when coco played simona how simona literally would have run circles around coco and yes he did mix in attacking the forehand but to see simona out hustle coco that I, I was like wow like you know simona could play another 10 years here right so interesting things to take to to consider and, and think about but in terms of Simona guys is her career over I don't think so she's 31 now she's about to be 32 so if she comes back in what would be what three more years she's already did a year she'll be what pretty much 35 that's still pretty young I mean we've seen we're, we're seeing Venus at 43 years old beat top 20 players right I mean, we saw Serena literally four years ago, guys, make a Grand Slam final at, what, 37? So, no, Simona Howe would not be too young. I mean, too old, rather, I'm sorry. And I personally do think Simona Howe can win another championship, even if she decides to come back. Patrick, however, said, he, he said this would most likely be the end of her career. Now, I was surprised to hear Patrick say something like that. I mean, he's been standing by her side this entire time. For him to make a statement like that was, it seemed a bit harsh because we have players like Kanepi on tour right now still playing. I mean, there's a lot of players that, you know, are competing at an older age, nearing 40. And I think Simona Halep, she would literally be 35. I think she would be fine because as long as she doesn't gain too much weight and stays pretty active and fit, and even then she could play herself into shape, um, I think she could possibly snag up a 250 where you're catching a lot of top players, you know, on the rebound, possibly some injured. And of course, with the restrictions now, they're putting on top 10 players playing in these 250s, giving more opportunity to, you know, the the lower ranked players on tour. I think it's amazing. And I think Simona Halep career is not over, regardless of what happens. But I personally think I think we could see her back as soon as next fall, to be honest with you. That's just my personal opinion. If it's four, she'll find a way to be back in two. What do you guys think? Comment below. And of course, we are going to assume she's innocent until the final verdict is out on this case. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Kid Energy. Comment below. What do you think? What are your thoughts? What are your opinions? But let's have an adult conversation. Be respectful of each other's opinions. And I would really love to hear what you guys think about this. We'll be back.